Hey, look at that. We're almost live at the right time today. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is seven minutes into morning. Today's question, the thing I want you to think about today is your dream big enough. Your dream big enough right after this. This is seven minutes in the morning where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. <laughs> hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to another uh, happy Thursday, thankful Thursday installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. I used to say humble host. I don't know if I'm really all that humble. Anyway... Uh, thank you so much for being here. When you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do me a favor, do as Catherine and Joe have done already. Leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning, how you doing? Whew, that was hard homework yesterday. You know, whatever floats your fancy. Floats your fancy? Strikes your fancy. Uh, all right, so this all this week, let me start with a... I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. I've had this quote in my database for a lot longer than he's been president. So don't interpret it for anything other than what it says. You have to think anyway. Why not think big? You have to think anyway. Why not think big? So what I want you to, um, well, what I want to challenge you with this morning, all week this week, we've been talking about uh, pursuing your dreams, making your dreams come true. And it starts with, with admitting to yourself and then announcing to the world what your dream is. And so yesterday, that was the challenge yesterday. Thank you for those of you that participated in that challenge. I appreciate it. You will appreciate it. And you are much further down the road to reaching, to making your dreams a reality than those who haven't participated yet, because I know that you're going to. I can see you out there and not participating. I can see you. I'm watching you. All right. Oh, man. Catherine's loading up the chat stream here already. I think. Well, okay. So I think my dream is big enough because I know I want it. And I know how to do little bits to move in that direction. But I don't know how to make it all happen. It will take learning and growing before I can reach it. I can reach. Mm, man, coaching opportunity. Should I take it or not? <sighs> okay. Um, well, let me just let me, I'll get through the content here and then maybe if we've got some time left over, I'll do that at the end. Here's what happens. Having talked with literally thousands of um, coaching clients, what I know to be true is that the vast majority of them, when I, when I push someone into sharing what their big, hairy, audacious goal is, what the dream is that they want to pursue, 99% of them hold back. And, and they'll give enough to make it sound good. There's that one little thing that's left, right? That, that they just don't share. Now, I say 99 because there's the odd one every once in a while that puts it all out on the table to begin with. But look, here's the point that I, I want to make and I want you to consider today. You go through the day to day. It doesn't do me. It's not hurting my feelings if you don't share it all with me. It's not hurting anybody uh, in, in our community here who doesn't get to hear your whole, the, the complete big, hairy, audacious goal. It only hurts directly. It only hurts one person. That's you. Indirectly, it might hurt thousands, millions, or a smaller community. But I mean, think about it this way. Let's just say for the sake of argument, you're supposed to be um, a, a, a great entertainer, right? Make lots of music, have concerts, I, you know, entertain millions of people and you don't do it. 
I mean, they don't know that they're missing out, but they're missing out, and you're not playing the role that you were put here to play. Your, your game, your game's not big enough. So that's what I want you to, to consider today. We know we have to think anyway, so why not think big? Go ahead and challenge yourself. Look at that, that goal, that dream, that big, hairy, audacious thing that you put out for the world yesterday and see if it's big enough. Just ask yourself, is this really it? Is this all there is to it? If I get this, when I am living in this state where I have achieved this, is there going to be something else? If you can already, if you already know what it is, if you already know that there's going to be something else, then by definition, it's not big enough. All right. Dreams come from imagination and determination. Nightmares come from mediocrity and accepting others' expectations. Holy crap. That's a really good one, Joe. Oh, man. <clears throat> I'm going to avoid the negative talk today, so I won't talk about mediocrity and, and accepting others' expectations, but you're 100% true. 100% right. Mediocrity is a dream killer. World domination. All right, so that's it. That's the challenge that I want to leave you with. And since I have a few more minutes, I'm going to do some on-the-spot coaching. Catherine, you said, I mean, here it is right here. It will take learning and growing before I can reach it. Oh, I, I missed a word there. My bad. I can't reach it from where I am. So here's the thing. I'm still going to give you some on-the-spot coaching, whether you ask for it or not. So you can't reach it from where you are, but you can't. But maybe you can reach it from where you are after your next step. And what a lot of people are not necessarily saying this is what you're doing. What a lot of people do is say, well, I want to do so-and-so. I want to be a great brain surgeon. So I'm going to go back to school. And they take the activity right? They take the activity of education over the action of making forward progress. I'll tell a story on Vicki here briefly. There was a transition time in her working career where she had to make a decision about what she wanted to do. And one of the things that she had been interested in doing her whole life since she had been in high school was to be a nurse. So, okay, then be a nurse. I mean, I'm, I'm on board. I know what, what we need to do. Right. And, but she was really unsure about that. There was the, the, the you know, I had to go to school. There's a lot of work. It was just a big commitment to get that done. I said, well, look, why don't you do this? Why don't you find a way to work in the field so that you can get kind of an inside look at what's going on? Here's a sports reference today that inside baseball look and what's going on before you make that full commitment. So she did. There's this thing called a CNA, a certified nurse's assistant. It take, I mean, get it, take a class for a couple of weeks at the Red Cross, get take a test, be certified, and you can work at the hospital. So she did, and she got that job, and she worked there for a year, maybe two. I don't think it was a whole two years, and decided, yep, that's not what I want to do. Well, thank goodness she figured that out before spending all the time, effort, and money to, to go to classes to do something when she didn't even, in the end, didn't even want to do, right? Take steps toward your goal every day. And, and, and yes, the goal, the dream might require some education. It might require learning something new. But, you know, practice, start, live as if. That's a great line that uh, my friend Eric Mulford shares all the time. Live as if you already have what you want. And then you'll find out if that's really what you want. All right, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for being here. Remember, if you get any value from our time together, to throw those hearts, thumbs up, stars, likes, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening, you can. Listen, watch, or participate in this show in a variety of places, including iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, YouTube, Facebook, all kinds of places. 
So find the one that works best for you. Tune in every single day. Like what we, we will likely hit a million downloads this year. Last time I looked was, uh, about two months ago and we were at 750. So, um, but, we're working on it, working toward that million do million downloads uh, this year. So uh, be sure and participate in that. You guys have a fantastic Thursday. I'll make sure I got all those in. Yep. And uh, you guys have a fantastic Thursday. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.